Hey guys, welcome back to Megan and Tiff on Tour. I'm Megan. I'm Tiff. And today we are going to be doing a video about our concert tips and like how to survive concerts. Um, so the first one we have on the list is to please stay hydrated and eat before. If I'm going to a general admission concert and I know it's going to be really hot that day, like that whole week of the concert I make sure I drink a lot of water. I'm like a very dehydrated person in general, but I tend to drink a little more than I should. And if you're going to wait in line all day, make sure you have water with you because it gets really, really hot. Yeah. I mean, I've known multiple times I had to get out of a crowd because I just needed a drink. I mean, I've had moments where I was on the verge of passing out and like I still had a lot. I was drinking water and I ate before the show. but. Sometimes you just need that extra little bit. So yeah. if you are feel like you're going to like faint or something, if there's like a bar at the place, like if it is like a club general mission show, just they go will, over there and ask free for water. water. I usually places have free water. Along with the staying hydrated, you should probably eat before. But if you don't eat before, have some like candy in your purse or your pocket. I always take like something to suck on or like something minty like peppermint and it always like recharges me a little bit and it keeps like my blood sugar up. I mean I don't have like low blood sugar but it keeps me good. And if you're gonna wait in line all day and you don't want to lose your spot have like you or your friend go and get the food and bring it back and you can eat it in line. But don't eat anything like super heavy. No. Don't go don't go out and eat like a buffet no. or like a big bowl of pasta. Eat something like that you know will keep you hydrated. Yeah. And then number two on our list is to be aware of your surroundings. I know at general admission shows it can be hard because you're like so into it, but please be aware of like where you're standing, who you're standing next to, where your um, elbow's going, elbow's going, where all the security guards are going to be located. You know, usually they're at the front there by the barricade. Know your exits. Yeah. So that's a strong. Yeah, no, um, make sure if your friend isn't around you, make sure you know where your friend is in your surroundings so you don't lose them. Yep. Because that's the hardest part. Yeah, make sure you know where, like, the concession stands are if you if you think you're going to pass out. And know where you can sit down. And it's nice to know if you know the place you're going first so then you can play in that stuff out before. Know where the bathrooms are. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, number three is be courteous to others around you. I mean, yes, we understand general mission shows. People are like really loud and they go hard and it's very squished. Yeah. And you feel like you're in like a sardine can. And it's just yeah. really hot down there. But don't be one of those people. Like, we record videos. Of course, mainly it's for you guys so that you can see the vlogs later. But it's also for our personal preference because I actually do. I am one of those that actually does go and watch my videos back yeah. after the show. But don't be one of those people that if you're short and like say you're looking like in between us, don't be the one that's like sticking your phone yeah. like through us. That's trying to get rude. the video. I hate when people do that. Or when you're like resting your arms on our shoulders trying to mm -hmm. take a video like that. And don't be one of those people that also like has the phone up in the air the entire time above your head trying to get every single thing you can. Live in the moment because sometimes that's better than actually having the video. And if you see someone trying to get out of the crowd, help them out. Like, don't just not let them through. Like, let them through. If they need to get out, they need to get out. And if you see someone about to pass out, help them. And say excuse me. Don't push your way through. Don't make up lies to get through. Just be as nice as possible. Um, I think I see more rude people in, like, seated concerts because they just kind of come the way through and they got, like, beers and they, like, spill on them and it's... Just be nice to the people around you. It's and common sense. I had an experience like that at Panic. Mm -hmm. I had the end seat and the guy kept, because the kid was like, I want this and I want this. And 
he kept going in and out of the aisle going to get food. I'm like, why didn't you do this before the show? That's why that's number one on our list is to get food before the show so you're not sitting yeah. there going to get it. And it was just, I was really mad because I'm like, I love Brendan, so mm -hmm. I'd like to actually see the show, not your body going past me every five minutes. Basically, just don't be a dick to people. Yeah. Like, it's not hard to be nice. And if, like, somebody bumps into you, just, or you bump into somebody, just be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Because mm -hmm. there will be pushing, and that's not your fault, but, like, yeah. I still apologize even if somebody else pushed me into the person. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I just, it's just a natural thing for me. Mm -hmm. uh, number four. We said to get there before doors. If you have general admission, basically, if you have general admission and you plan on getting to, if you want like close up to the front, get there before doors because if you're there after doors and you're pushing through the crowd to get to the front, that's how is that? that's not fair. If some, if I waited in line all day to get that front row spot and you got there right as the doors opened, it's not fair that you get also to be up there because. I mean, I understand people have to work and stuff, but that's not my problem. You know what I mean? So, like, just get there on time if you want to be up front. If you cannot get there outdoors and you want to be up front, then don't push your way up there. I mean, I mean, if you can get up there, like, do it on the side. Yeah. I feel. I hate people that try to push through and get, like, right in the middle. Or just kind of do it casually throughout yeah. the show. Don't just go right through the crowd. It's kind of rude. And, I mean, you can also get there before doors if you have a seated... Yeah, that would still be too. nice. I mean, it's annoying when you're trying, people are trying to get to their seats as the show's on. That's really annoys me, because I'm trying, I'm getting up and then I'm like, looking around at the artist while the person's yeah. getting through and... Number five is, we kind of covered this a little earlier, but know your venue. Know... Know the rules. rules. Like, cam if you bring cameras like we do, know their camera rules, know their purse rules for girls. Um, like backpacks or something like that. Know that stuff. Um, crowd serving, um, moshing. You should look, know that stuff beforehand so that you don't get kicked out. We don't want you to be spending hundreds of dollars on tickets and being like, oh, you can't come in, or bring in a camera and then be like, you gotta take that out or they throw it away. And like, umbrellas, don't bring umbrellas. Check your clothing items too, because sometimes if you have just like spikes or something on your like skirt or something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're like, you can't have that. Yeah. Number six, know how to get there. Yeah, you should become familiar with how to get there before you start driving there. Because we run into that once. My GPS died on us, so we were like in the heart of Philly and then we got lost. So this is more advice for us, I guess. Yeah. We should take our own advice. But there are some people I've heard them talk before, they're like, I didn't know how to get here. and. I always look at the map before I yeah. go to make sure if there's any like major landmarks that I'm going by that I know of. But I try to not go to too many like new venues. Um, and I know that at DNCE we had a girl behind us and she was like, we would have gotten here like an hour earlier but we got lost. And I was like, how do you get lost in Baltimore? <laughs> Baltimore is pretty easy to navigate through. But yeah. Number seven. Wear comfortable clothes. I cannot stress this enough because if it's general admission, you are going, well, you're going to be standing even if it's a seated show too. Cause like as soon as the artist comes on, you're going to be up out of your yeah. seat. But wear comfortable clothes. No, like, I mean, you if, can dress up. If he, if you can stand eight hours in heels, then go for it. But if you cannot, then don't wear them. I don't want you taking off your shoes and going barefoot and stepping on something and get diseases. Just wear some sneakers. Like I can't wear Converse sneakers in there to concerts anymore because they're too flat and there's not enough support. So I have to wear like actual sneakers. And I know I wear heeled boots sometimes to shows, but they're like the thicker heels. And I have like the little gel pads in them too yeah. to help give that extra comfort. But I know like what shoes I'm comfortable in. Don't so. wear like shoes that you haven't broken yet, because I've done that yeah. before. I wore a new pair of Vans to a Fall Boy concert, and by the end I had a really bad blister. It was gross. And like clothing wise, if you go to a concert and you're wearing like a shirt that you're not comfortable in, then don't wear it. I mean, wear something that 
you normally wear. Yeah. Number eight, make nice with security guards. And I cannot stress this enough because I have had incidents at shows before where they're like, why didn't you come get us sooner? We would have like kicked the person out because of stuff they were doing yeah. to me at the time. Um, but if you make nice with them, usually they'll be like the ones that give you like the set list off of the stage or like extra water. guitar picks. Yeah, water. I, this one guy was super nice at Ariana Grande and it was really warm. I mean, we had seated seats, but he was still like giving us water that he just had sitting up there and it was, he was really nice. Usually, like, if you make nice with them, they'll be nice with you. Yeah. Like, I know a lot of them seem, like, really grumpy and, like, why am I here, but... I mean, you will get those that aren't nice, but don't be rude to security guards. They're just there to do their job and keep you safe. Number nine, don't be rude to openers. I know I have been like this before. Like, if I just don't enjoy them, I'm just kind of like, okay, you guys done yet? But I do try to like bop my head to the music, yeah, so it looks like I'm still interested even if I'm like not. Yeah, I mean if you don't like the artist, just, if it's a seated, just sit in your seat and bob your head a little bit. Tap maybe, your toes. Maybe smile like a little bit, but you don't have to like, you don't have to like get into it and kiss their butts, but like just don't be rude. <laughs> when I saw Wiz Khalifa, I was just like, are you done yet? Like, I was looking at him with like the, the probably the meanest face. And he, I was kind of sick of the general mission at that point though. And he was close enough that he could see me. And he looked at me a couple times like, she's pissed off. I'm like, yeah, I am because you suck. <laughs> I just wasn't happy. But, and then if you have general mission, just don't, and if you're front row, don't sit there and be like, yeah, that's kind of rude. That's why if you kind of just do like this, that's what I do. Yeah. Like, at least they're not like, oh, she's completely bored. They're like, oh, she's trying to mm -hmm. get into I mean, it. They know they don't have fans there. They're trying to make fans, but they don't want to come out of a show thinking that everyone hated them. Ten is just general mission in general. Just... If you, I think it was more we were talking about if you can't handle a general mission concert, then don't go to one. Um, if you've never been to one before, make sure you're well prepared for one um, with like the previous tips we said. Um, I mean, my first general mission concert was at a small club, so it wasn't bad. But some people, a lot of people, have their first general mission concerts at like Twenty One Pilots concerts, and those are super rough. So I know a lot of people come out of those crowds crying, so, and we saw someone come out of water parks and like having a panic attack. So it's like, you should know beforehand that it's pretty rough. If you know you have really bad anxiety and you can't handle close crowds, then you should probably stand in the back or the side. Usually the side is the best area. I usually stand on the sides. But yeah, I just suggest if you're going to start out, start small, because mine my first general mission show was Chameleon Club. Yeah, I think that was mine too. Yeah, and it's just this little tiny venue, so. Yeah, and it wasn't like a packed show either, and I stood against no. the wall. I mean, if you have sometimes problems where you feel like you're gonna pass out, I always find myself at a wall or a pole and I can just lean on it, or like a bar. Yeah. Number 11 is, it's for merch. We suggest that if it's like general admission, Wait till after the show if you can, unless you know that the item you want is going to sell out, then like race over there if it's open and like get it and like, then run to your, back to your spot. Yeah, like if you want front close, then you should probably just skip march to the end. But if it's a seated show, I usually go before, so that way once the show's done, I can just like leave yeah. out of the venue because usually the lines are long mm -hmm. after the show for like the seated. Yeah, and sure. usually at the end of a concert, I just kind of want to go home, yeah. find my car, and just go. And make sure you have enough money for merch. Yeah. Like, don't waste their time. And, and make sure you have your money ready beforehand. Like, yes. get all the prices in your head. Don't be sitting there counting all your bills. And they just don't have, they don't have the time. They want to get through the crowd as much as, as fast as possible. And if you're, if you don't, if you're undecided of what you want, please stand off to like the side and look at what they have yeah. and pick and then once you're ready, 
go up to them and say this is what I want because nothing frustrates the merch guy more than when you get up to the table and they're like, like what would you like and you're like uh, uh. and then you sit there for five minutes because they're like I could have catered to like three other people by the time you mm -hmm. decided on what you want and be nice to the merch guys and, too and don't just point and be like I want that one yeah if but they don't have like numbers or letters next to it be like oh I want the black torture tor shirt yeah it's just as easy as that Number 12 is to make friends with people around you. Especially if you're going alone. Yes. Unless you know that they're like annoying. under, yeah, annoying or like underage and they just don't want to talk to you at all, then it's like, okay, maybe I'll stay out of the conversation, just mm -hmm. be in my own little bubble. But you, you never know, because with people that you have, it could be like your next friend or like yeah. concert buddy or something or if you make really nice with them sometimes they'll like push you ahead to get something or if they like get something at like a guitar pick and they don't want it they'll give it to you yeah so that's why I always say make friends with people around you or like be friendly like you don't have to be like best friends with the person but be as nice as possible I think all right so number 13 on our list is signs and it kind of frustrates me if you have like a gigantic sign that you made and you like hold it up for the majority of the show and it's blocking my view because we paid the same amount of money. So just I would like to see their faces and not the back of a poster the entire time. Yeah. And I mean, I'm okay with you if you hold it up during like speaking parts cuz that's when the artist will probably actually see it more than when they're singing. So that's okay because I'm like, it's not like they're actually really performing. I mean, it'd still be nice to see their faces, but. And most of the time venues don't even let you have signs. So like look into that first and don't waste your time making a really pretty sign if you can't even take it in. Yeah. And I mean, you can make a little sign. Usually yeah, those are like okay. the eight, like the eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Go for that. Especially if you're front row and you really want them to see something. Yeah. 14 we have on our list is our phones. We talked a little bit about it earlier. Um, record all you want, but just be here courteous to the people around you. Don't be like this the whole time. I learned to master like filming like this where I can watch it in front of my and film at the same time. So that's handy. Yeah. So we'll maybe learn to do that. I mean if you're in the back or if you're like on the side and you know you're not going to be like obstructing somebody's view, then it's It'll, it's okay to like do that if you need to in order to see the artist but don't rest your arm on someone's shoulder to take pictures that's annoying number 15 wear deodorant and I can't stress this enough I mean unless you have like a religious reason or yeah. I mean I understand like I understand a, during the show if you get stinky like that's one thing but if you're like just arriving to the show and you smell a little ripe, like I always I apply it a deodorant before I leave the house, but then I take it with and I apply it before I go into the arena because I sweat a lot. So then if you want deodorant that smells amazing, use men's deodorant. It lasts long and at the end of the concert I always smell myself and it still it still smells like men's deodorant. Yeah. And number sixteen is no smoking in the pit. In the pit. Um, Hershey, I think, has a designated smoking spot. But one time I saw 21 Pilots and we were at Festival Pier and it was general mission. We were in this big crowd and all of a sudden this guy starts to light up a cigarette and like smoke makes my eyes really dry and then when my eyes get dry, I get a headache. So I'm just like getting a little dizzy and my friend's like, excuse me, I'm allergic to smoke. Can you put that out? I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, it was bad. It's brewed. Yeah. And you don't know, like, people are allergic to cigarette smoke. And why would you smoke in a crowd? Like, it's disgusting. And there's even some venues that will allow you to, like, re enter if you go out to, like, the designated smoking area yeah, outside. Like stage has that, don't they? Yeah, they have that. And then I think, like, 930 Club and all has that. Yeah. I mean, if you ask the security guard, hey, can I go take, like, a cigarette break? They'll usually be like, yeah, just go take it. And then just, they'll let you back in. So, I mean, that's fine. I'm still not saying you should be polluting the air with it, but... Yeah. Don't smoke, kids. And the last one we have on our list is don't be afraid to confront somebody 
or like ask questions to yeah. like security guards or anything yeah, or if you to need ask something them. don't be afraid to ask or if somebody is bumping against you don't be afraid to tell them hey can you calm down a little bit or if someone is putting their hand on your shoulder to take pictures say excuse me I don't appreciate that don't be afraid to say something because I mean I should take that myself because I don't I don't tell people when I'm uncomfortable I just kind of let it happen then I get pissed off the entire concert I have problems with that usually if it gets irritating enough for me then I'm usually the one that's like hey can you like stop that yeah and we had to do that recently at DNC mm -hmm. that was just a mess yeah. But yeah, don't be afraid, and especially if like somebody's pushing past you to like get in front of you, be like, hey, stand your ground. We were here before you. You can get back to mm -hmm. the back. Where don't you buy the bull crap. Be. My friend's up there. Yeah, especially like halfway through a concert. Like, no, no. If I saw you coming out of the crowd to go get something, and you're like trying to come back in and be like, hey, my friend's up there, then I'm okay with that. Cause yeah, I don't want you to get separated from your friend. But if you're like by yourself and I know that you've been by yourself like the entire time and you've been going around the whole venue trying to find like a good spot in the general admission, I'm not going to let you through. Mm -hmm. That's all we have on our list of concert tips. Yeah, if you have any tips for us that we missed, let us know. We don't, I always like taking tips for concerts, but we are, I feel like we're always like over prepared. But I don't know, I think it's good to be over prepared. I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared. Mm -hmm. I'd rather know what I'm getting myself into. Um, if you have any other questions about concerts, we'll happily answer them. And if you agree or disagree with any of our tips, then you can let us know about that. We like hearing opinions. Yeah. That's it for this video. And if you like what you saw today and you enjoyed this video, then you can just hit the subscribe button below. Um, we do music related videos um, you can see that whole spiel if you're I mean if you're new that's what we do it's music related videos uh, all of our social media is in the description yep. if you care about any of that stuff um, and we will see you next time bye guys bye. I'm a realist and an optimist but I swear to you I'm not getting over this